Hello, everyone. I'm really excited to share with you today NetSuite Bank Feeds and how we can store that in our NetSuite accounts and we can get going with the new um, match banking data features in NetSuite as well. So what you need to do is you need to log in as an administrator. Once you've logged in as an administrator, go to the Suite Apps tab. Click on Suite Apps. Type in bank feeds and ensure that you've got the bank feed and um, that looks like this with that picture there was a previous version which you will either need to uninstall or ask NetSuite to update and once you're ready to install it click on the logo you will have a blue button that says install click on install you'll notice that mine already says installed and um, just to save time I have installed it um, in order to install it, there are some prerequisites. You need to have service suite script enabled. You need to have client suite script enabled, custom records enabled. You've got to have an existing online registration with your bank and you've got to allow browser pop-ups. So that's really important when adding the integration with the bank, otherwise you will not, um, you will not see it. Once that has been installed, you then go to set up accounting set up accounting and scroll down to financial institutions and scroll down to list. That will show you the bank fees has been installed. If you do not see this, it means it was not successfully installed. Click on view and that will show you which countries it's supported for. Click on format profile and you'll see that the one that we're after is Australia, New Zealand and some parts of Asia. Obviously, if you're doing any implementations with subsidiaries in other countries, you can install the other ones, but we're only going to focus on Australia and New Zealand today. You will need to click on edit. So do not click on view. If you click on view, you will not be able to install or not be able to um, link with your financial institution. Click on connectivity configuration. And you'll see connect new institution. If you do not click on the edit button, you will not see connect new institution. Click on new institution. This is where the pop-ups are required in the browser. So you'll now notice that a pop-up has obviously popped up. If that pop-up is, um, if you pop us on to enable, this will not pop up. First stop, type in the bank. So we'll select um, ComBank. You'll notice it says Australia, and you can then click on your, um, once you click on that, it will ask you for your client number and your password. These are the same login details that you will use for internet banking. So obviously, if this is um, if the administrator of the account does not have access to it, you will need to get access, or you'll need to ask the person that does have access to the client number and password to input this directly. We obviously do not recommend that we get that information from anyone. Once you have completed the pop-up, there will be an authorization process where the account will verify your details and we'll start to download the transactions. Once that has been downloaded, you will come back to this page, which is the Performer Profile page. And as you can see, we now have four accounts. We've got two credit cards and two bank accounts, which have been successfully um, connected. You can rebuild the connections if there are any issues, or you can delete the connections. Before we can actually see any information linking into NetSuite, you need to go to the Account Linking tab, once you are on the account linking tab, you then need to click on the linked GL button and making sure that you actually click on where it says linked GL, that will give you a link to your um, general ledger within the system. You click on your, um, to link your account and you then click on save. If you not click save, nothing will be imported. What they, you will then see is a note that says that your information will be imported and you can go to your match bank data and you can um, either delete, um, well, it's going to import 60 days worth of transactions. If you have already been manually importing bank data into the system, you'll need to exclude that bank data by following the instructions that we've got in our bank reconciliation um, loom video. Or if you haven't been using it, then all those transactions may have come in. You may have already reconciled them. Just exclude all of them and start using the match banking data in your system as um, you would on day one. Um, if you've got any queries, please let me know.